So what's your name? I'm Claire Altman. Are you a, a parent of kids that go to campaigns? I'm a parent, I'm a board member, and I was a former camper. What, what introduced you to campaigns? This is funny, but actually when I was an infant, I lived at Camp Haynes as a baby because my parents worked at School of the Arts and the, the school was being built at the time and the students were living instead of in dorms in cabins at the camp. And I lived at Camp Haynes when I was a little tiny baby. And then when I was in high school, I went to Camp Haynes as a camper um, following a program with the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School System. So. Would, you, would you say that you feel comfortable with your kids at camp? Oh my gosh, my kids love camp. I don't worry about them at all. I, I was nervous the first time my oldest went. I was nervous all week, and I miss them a lot. But they like it so much, and they look forward to it for so long that when the summer finally comes, I think it's just so exciting for them that I don't worry about them. I'm very comfortable with them there. What do you think was the one thing that mostly worried you the first time they started going? Um, the first time Katie Gray went, I was just worried that she would be comfortable and I was worried about what would I do without my big baby at home because I'd miss her and the nice thing was being able to send her emails and cards and packages and knowing that she was getting emails from lots of other friends and family and getting a letter from her was a real treat. Um, the, the worried part went away immediately when I picked her up after the first week and now we've been going for years and years and there's no more worry, no more concern. Was she excited the first time she came back from camp? She was so cute. When we pick them up from camp, the girls always argue about who gets to start talking first because they all want to talk so fast to tell us everything they've done because they have so much fun. So you get to write letters back and forth to Katie, right? I write Katie Gray letters. I write Heidi and Sarah individual letters. I send them packages. I send them an email every day. I go online to check their pictures on the website. We love looking at the photo gallery. And we call our friends and family and say, did you see picture number 59 each day? Things like that. So it's really fun and easy to keep in touch and feel like they're getting their independence. But you know you get to see them too. So campaigns definitely includes parents in the camp experience? You feel really involved as a parent because you get to have easy contact without being on top of them. So you don't actually speak to your child, but if you need something, you know how to, to access them. Um, one time I had a child who was sick, and they called me from the infirmary, and I got to talk to her, and everybody was reassured she was fine, and um, she was able to stay and finish camp. So if you need them, they are totally available, but mostly I mean, the reason you go is to give your child independence, and they get that. What, what happens on the first day of camp? Like, can you just describe how you drop off your kids and sign them up? And Oh, it's so organized. Um, when you bring your kids the first day of camp, as you're driving in, there are counselors lined up all along the road waiting to receive you with clipboards and name tags. And I'm an organizational freak, so to me, to be impressed by that means a lot. I was so impressed with their warmth and friendliness and how natural they all are with the kids. And then they take you through the process. They tell you where to park. They tell you where to unload. You walk in, sign in. You immediately see people you know. I mean, that was really easy and nice for all of us. And the girls run off immediately with friends. And they're always so excited to run and get their um, cabin and see where they are and who's with them and um, start making their beds and little girly things like that I guess but they um, have that process down so so well that everybody just knows what they're doing and it's very easy so that by the time we leave the children are like okay bye no big tearful goodbyes one time one of my girls cried and I thought oh my gosh she's crying in the cabin because she misses me and I went back in and she was not crying because she missed me. She was crying because she bumped her head going to the bathroom on the door. And it had nothing to do with her missing me. So you need not worry. So what's the last day of camp like when you come to pick them up? Oh, I love coming to pick them up. Um, I'm always so excited to get to come see them and hear about everything that they've done. And on the last day, there's a big um, picnic outside. They have hot dogs and all the parents come and get to spend time with their kids. And a nice thing that they do is the counselors talk to you about your children and you have opportunity to give feedback and that's something to really listen to as a parent and you'll learn something about your children. If you will let yourself listen to what they say about your kids, um, you'll learn a lot and they do um, these really nice awards at the end and you, you get to hear some really great things that the kids do while they're there. So how do you feel like the leaders at camp are, that they're definitely hands-on, or do you feel like they're in the office much? Oh, the leaders are definitely hands-on, and um, <laughs> the, the counselors are so much fun, aren't they, Sarah? Yes. And you get to do a lot um, hands-on with them and play with them.
Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you.